Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Shelby and welcome. So today's video is in Alta Hall. I picked up some drugstore, high-end, and some accessories. So if you're excited to see what I got, then let's just get right into this. I'm going to literally pull stuff out of the box and show you guys what I got. So the first thing is this cute little headband type of thing. I thought this would be really nice to pull my hair back when I'm either applying my makeup, taking off my makeup, washing my face, you know, anything like that just to pull the hair back or just simply get my hair out of my face because I mean, look at this mess. I know. Don't judge it, okay? I just couldn't deal with it. <laughs> I believe this was only probably like two or three dollars. Wasn't really expensive. I think it's super cute. I do think they have that in like a baby blue, but I decided to go with pink. I picked up two new sponges. The first one, this is the Japanese Beauty Sponge. So the packaging looks like this. I did just use this to do my makeup. <laughs> so that's why it's a little bit dirty, but it's pretty much like the shape of the beauty blender. Just the only thing that I've noticed is it's not as like squishy. It's a little bit more dense, but definitely is a good sponge. I think this retails for $10 and 100% would test it out if I were you, if you haven't. And then I picked up this Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. So this is the one with like the little slanted edges. I mainly wanted to buy this because I saw Jaclyn Hill use it in one of her videos and her skin looked freaking fabulous. So smooth, so airbrushed. I was like, girl, how do you get your makeup to look like that? So, I mean, me being me, I was like, it's definitely the sponge. Like, it's definitely the sponge. I need to go pick up that exact sponge. But, you know, it's definitely probably not the sponge, but I'm just that person that's like, I need to have everything. So, I want to try this out. I haven't even felt it or opened this up. I honestly hate packaging so much. That's why I don't have nails, because I just feel like I would ruin it on everything. It's like so cute. Ah, I'm very excited to test this out. I'll definitely try it out in a video with you guys so we can all get the first impression together if you haven't tried it already. I feel like I'm a little kid in like that Disney store where it's got like all the different types of characters from the Disney movies. That's how I feel when I walk in Alta or I get an Alta haul. Because that's, that's, that's how I feel. I feel like a little kid in a candy store, too. For a drugstore, I picked up a bunch of goodies. I definitely want to try these out in a video. This is the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. And this is in the darker shade. They do have a lighter shade of this, but it definitely looked too light for my skin tone. And this one just looks so gorgeous. And then I picked up a new blush. This is the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush. And this is in the shade Just Playful. So cute, very affordable, more of like a nude tone blush. And it's matte, so it's everything I love in my blush. And I picked up a new highlighter. This intrigued me so much. I was walking down the aisle and I was like, wow, that looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I got it. This is the Makeup Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette. Looks like this. It comes with eight different shades, which is phenomenal for the price. I think it was $12. And these just look so creamy, so buttery. Um, I definitely think there's more of like a natural type of highlight in this palette. Because you can tell the difference. Like this shade, this shade, and this shade look more natural. And then these look freaking beaming. I did pick up a new foundation. This is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation SPF 20. So a bunch of you have been asking me to try this out, so I definitely will do like a wear test of this. I picked up the shade LC1. This is the lightest shade they have, and it does come with a little applicator, so it's a little bit different. We'll test it out, see if I like it, because I heard it is more of like a luminous complexion, so... We'll definitely have to see about that one. And I did pick up a new concealer. This is the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Total Coverage Concealer. So apparently this is supposed to be very full coverage, very blendable, just very beautiful underneath the eyes. So I'm hoping that's right. And I picked up the shade 105. I picked up a new mascara. This is the Essence Lash Paradise, or not Lash Paradise, oh my goodness, Lash Princess false lash effect 
a bunch of you have been telling me that this is an awesome mascara and I've seen this so many times on YouTube so I was like I need to pick this up it's very affordable and if people are saying it's good then it's got to be good so I definitely want to try it out for myself I got the one that the wand looks like this it's like skinny and then it goes to a little bit skinnier point don't focus don't want to focus huh huh no still no and another thing for the eye, this is the e.l.f. Metallic Liquid Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Brushed Copper. So I was thinking this would maybe be a dupe for the Stila Liquid Eyeshadows. Um, this is just a really pretty color. It seems like a really just nice, like, neutral tone. So I wanted to see if this was a nice dupe. Plus, I think this was very affordable, probably like $1 or $2. So I was like, eh, throw that in the basket. And the last drugstore thing I picked up, this is the Essence Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Look Lip Gloss. I decided to pick up the clear gloss because, I mean, you can literally apply this over any lip color, wear it alone, and it won't alter the color of it. So that's why I wanted to get the clear one. So I wanted to see if this was a dupe for the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. I feel like I got a lot of these products because I wanted to see if they were dupes of high end. So yeah, maybe this will be a totally disgusting and goopy. Maybe it will be awesome. I had to pick up another of my favorite primer waters. Smashbox primer water. This is legit my baby. I've been so upset without it. I've been using the Mario Badescu facial spray like crazy. And I just feel like it doesn't compare to this. So this just makes me so hydrated. I use it before I apply my makeup and then after right before my setting spray. I know that's like a lot. Whoa, what is this doing? It helps just to make your makeup blend all together. It's not a setting spray, so I don't expect it to make my makeup last longer. That's why I apply a setting spray after. But I just feel like this helps a little bit with making it look a little more perfect. And then I did pick up a setting spray. This is the Ofra Makeup Fixer Light Mist. This is a giant bottle, size of my head. I wanted to try this out because I'm pretty sure it doesn't contain alcohol. I may be wrong. I think this was only like $16 for this whole bottle. This is eight fluid ounces. Next I picked up a new foundation. It's not, it's actually not new, but it's new to me. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour. I was like, eh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> this is the 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. This has been out for a little while, but I haven't tried it for myself, and I really was intrigued by it. So I got the shade 1.0. Hopefully this is a good shade for me. I just, this is the shade. I mean, that doesn't look too bad so I'll definitely be doing a first impression and wear test of this foundation in the future I left the last the last for best I left the best for last I am so excited about these products I cannot wait to review them in a video for you guys oh my goodness of course I had to pick up the new Anastasia Amrezi highlighter oh girl look at this packaging look at it stunning I'm gonna open up for you guys because I already opened it up and I freaking died inside this is what the outside looks like oh my goodness look at those ripples do you see those ripples <gasps> Wow, I haven't even swatched this yet because I'm waiting for that video to give you guys a full first impression. So I'm so excited to use this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Congrats to Amrezi for this collab. And then of course I had to pick up the new Anastasia Powder Bronzer. This packaging is a little bit more boring than that one, but that's okay. And in this one I picked up the shade Tawny. I know they have a few different shades, but I kind of just went off of like my skin tone and stuff. So that's what that looks like right there. That looks like a really nice bronzing shade for me. So super excited to test these out together. I was just going to do the Amrezi one by itself, but then I was like, nah, I can't leave this one hanging. So I'm going to do these together. So hopefully that will be up soon for you guys. I have a 
bunch of different videos for you guys in the next month. I planned, I organized, I got my life together during spring break, and I am pre-recording like a mad woman. I hope you guys really enjoyed this Ulta haul and the products that I got. Let me know if you have any of these and if you love them. So subscribe if you are not already. I would appreciate it so much, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. I love my bun. I mean, quick, easy hairstyle. Literally took me about, I think, a minute. And I bet a ton of you thought this was a scrunchie. Girl, this is not a scrunchie. This is a headband that I wrapped around my head about four times. Things YouTubers do.